the stars. There is a large number of stars in the sky. They are very far from us and so appear to us like points. Sun is also a star which is 150 million kilometers away from the earth, so appears like a football. Next nearest star is Alpha Century. The distance travelled by light in one year is known as light year. The distance of the sun from the earth is said to be about 8 light minutes. And the distance of Alpha Century is about 4 to 3 light years. The stars are present in the sky during the daytime also. However, they are not visible then because of the bright sunlight. The stars appear to move from east and west. Actually, stars are not moving. Earth is rotating from west to east, but it appears that the stars are moving. Sirius is the brightest star in the sky. Stars' relative position do not change. The pole star, which is situated in the direction of the Earth's axis, so it does not appear to move. But all other stars seem to revolve around the pole star. Constellation The stars forming a group that has a recognizable shape is called a constellation. Some famous constellations are Ursa Major, also known as Great Beer or Saptarishi, Orion, Cassiopeia, Leo Major. Let's observe Ursa Major carefully. There are seven prominent stars in this constellation, it appears like a big ladle. When three stars are in the handle of the ladle and four in its bowl, it also appears like a question mark. If you imagine a straight line passing through the two stars at the end of Ursa Major, the line will lead to Pole Star. Orion is another well-known constellation that can be seen during winter in the late evenings. It has eight stars and appears like a number. The three middle stars represent the belt of the hunter and the five bright stars appear to be arranged in the form of a polygon. If you imagine a straight line passing through the three middle stars of Orion, this line will lead to the brightest star that is Sirius. 
Cassiopeia is visible during winter in the early part of night and looks like a distorted worm. Inner and Outer Planets Inner Planets Mercury Venus Earth and Mars They are much nearer to the Sun, so-called inner planets. Outer planets Jupiter Saturn Uranus Neptune as they are outside the orbit of Mars and are very far off from the inner planets. Satellites Satellites any celestial body revolving around another celestial body is called a satellite. Generally, we use the term satellite for the bodies revolving around planets. Moon is a satellite of the Earth. There are many man-made satellites revolving around the Earth. These are called artificial satellites. The artificial satellites revolve around the Earth. They are much closer than the Moon. Artificial satellites are used for weather forecasting, for long distance communication, for remote sensing. Uranus and Neptune. Uranus and Neptune. Uranus also rotates from east to west like Venus. It has highly tilted rotational axis. As a result, in its orbital motion, it appears to roll on its axis. They are very far from the Sun, so called outer planets. The outer planets have large number of natural satellites. 